Welcome back guys. As you can see, I'm all shiny now. I've got myself a full diamond armor with not bad enchants on. Like some of them are really good. I could I need mending. I'm so desperate for mending books. I managed to fish too, but the last realm or the last world we had, I spent weeks getting traders and setting up a trading hall and it was painful so i'm refusing to do that again and i'm waiting for someone else to do it because i can't go through that pain again it was so so difficult like villagers are the worst things in the world to deal with like they're truly truly horrible to deal with so i'm letting someone else have that headache but that doesn't stop the fact that i need mending i don't really want to waste all of these diamonds by breaking thing breaking my tools and armor by accident but as you can see i haven't really done much more i've been mostly mining so this i've got some diamonds so i've used most of these i've got a few more um but that was my first ever diamond so i'm keeping that i've got 19 ore that i can fortune three um and i've got i think 10 diamonds left by my enchanting area but i decided it's episode two it's time to get organized that's right it's time to get organized so i've written myself a to-do list so what are my priorities? Get wings. Like I can't tell you how much I miss Elytra. I've died three times and two of those deaths were from jumping off something tall because I thought I could glide down. Next is help Eep. You know, Eep's, Eep's my partner in crime. She, she's my partner in everything. So, you know, I, I, I can give her a little bit of a helping hand. Um, especially as I've actually done surprisingly well for being only a few days into the world. I, I've got some really cool tools and weapons and things and I know she maybe doesn't have those things so I thought I'd help her out a little bit. Finished starter base that's definitely on my to-do list for this episode I want that done so that I can then start working on the other things. Gunpowder farm this ties into this so as soon as I get my elytra I'm going to need a lot of fireworks i mean a lot of fireworks i i don't walk anywhere in minecraft if i don't have to i fly um get mending books so this actually ties into helping eep i have a sneaky suspicion she's working on getting a mending villager so i'm kind of figuring if i am nice to her now she might give me some mending books which i really really need and then next last thing is open a shop like that's one of the things I love most about playing with friends is like the community and doing things together and and having shopping areas and stuff really helps with that. It gives you a sense of focus and goals and things and it's just, just really nice. So I want to get a shop up and running ASAP. So, but I think I may not get all of these finished this episode, but I'll at least get them all started. So, what should we do first? Right, wings, we, we can't get wings right now. I am not ready to go to the end. I've not even been to the nether yet, never mind the end. That I'm going to do, but first, I think right now, I am going to help eat, which will hopefully get me some mending books soon. Okay, so I have got the items I'm going to give her. This is my old fortune pickaxe. I like guess it's pretty good. It just needs mending and it wouldn't actually be very bad at all. So I found, got myself a new Fortune 3, so I thought I'd give her this half-broken one. You know, I don't want to give her, make it too easy for her. Let's go help Eep out. Okay, this is it. This must be where she... Ah, uh, why? Why are there always these guys everywhere? No. Uh, I don't know where a good place to leave things might be. Where does she look like she's living? We're gonna... Oh, I didn't bring a chest. Ugh. Let's go and steal a tree. Actually, let's leave a tree floating for her. <laughs> she doesn't hate that nearly as much as I do. But... that's That's got to be annoying for anyone, right? Does she not have a crafting bench around here? Do we actually have to make one of those? <sighs> I'm gonna leave her a crafting bench. Let's leave her gift here. Let's leave her a message. 
And then we'll finish it off with... Block. And... Flower. So, that says... Hi, my lovely Eep. We both know I'm better at Minecraft, so I thought I would leave you a gift to help you along. Twixt. I'm not better at Minecraft, but I also do have a little bit more time because I work from home and I pick my own hours, so I, I, I have more time than she does. <laughs> so I play a little bit more Minecraft than she does, which means that's why I've probably got more resources than she does. Oh, I didn't leave this, the most important bit. Again, okay, now it's perfect. Now she's got the pick, which is the thing that she's going to be most excited about. Um, so yeah, I am not, I don't think for a minute I'm better at Minecraft, but this is just funny because, you know, it should make her laugh or something. <laughs> and hopefully, see, she'll know I've been nice and she'll come and bring me lots of mending books. That's right. That, that that's, the, that's the aim of this. I'm sure it's totally going to work. Okay, I'm going to head back and hopefully not set up any, any raids on the way and I'm gonna head back and work on my base so I'll see you in a little bit but I also realized something I realized that my to-do list was actually quite ambitious and with the whole get wings and get a shop thing I realized I missed out a lot of steps so the first um, shop I want to do is a redstone shop and I realized I need quartz to get wings I need to go to the end which means I need eyes of ender which means I need blaze rocks anyway, the short version of that is I need to go to the nether and I kind of entirely forgot that the nether was a thing so I built us a little community nether portal yeah I built us a little community nether portal because we've decided because uh, the nether updates actually due soon we don't know exactly when at this stage um, so we've agreed that we're going to use the nether, but we're going to try and not go too far right now. Which does mean that some things are going to be difficult, but we needed to have some access. I've made us a one at community, and I'm going to go in and see where I land up. Okay, that's actually really quite a sensible place to land in the nether. Uh, I hate the nether. I don't know how I managed to save myself then. <laughs> oh, my poor little heart was going. <laughs> uh, I don't even care about that quartz right in a second. <laughs> uh, that was terrifying. But yay, I found a fortress. <laughs> Um, let's just make sure I can get back up. Quick, retreat, retreat! <sighs> milk. I need to remember to bring milk. So I've been working hard on my to-do list. I think I've made some good progress. Um, the thing I've been working on latest is this massive, oh, you can't see it. This massive monstrosity here. Um, and this is my gunpowder farm. So yeah, I've built this absolutely disgusting box in the sky. And there's, you can just see the minecart going round. This is not a very effective farm. It's not very good. I need to work on this quite considerably but you know I'd have to I have to AFK it for quite a while to to get anything uh, the cats there's a reason for the cats we'll, we'll talk about those in a minute um 
So this is it. I've got several platforms with trapdoors so that only speak creepers and spiders can spawn. Um, and then I've got a bunch of water streams trying to push them down here. Um, the problem I have with this is that... Oh, there's, go, there's one now. Creepers float quite easily. So they, um, they, they don't drop down. It's just a nightmare. Anyway, the cats. I was testing out, rather than using water streams, I was testing out to see if, whether I could use cats to get encourage them to down. Basically, I was trying to encourage them to jump to their own deaths because they're afraid of cats, um, but it didn't work. I just ended up with a lot of cats. So actually, let's unseat all these guys. Let's see if we can take them home. Let's grab whatever we've collected. So that's my gunpowder farm, which is one of the things ticked off my to-do list. So yay. And that's basically just to make sure I can get a supply of rockets so that I can go to the end, get an elytra, and actually start flying instead of, look at this, I'm resorting to using boats. It's terrible. Anyway, let's go back. There's one cat with me. and see if we can take all these cats home as well, actually. So yeah, let's head back to the base. Oh, and I'll show you the the cat drowned. What cat drowned? Um, anyway, let's go back to the base. Oh, these guys. Like, the journey here. It's just row after row of illager patrols. I've kind of been avoiding them and ignoring them, but oh well. Anyway, let's try again. Back to the base and I'll show you what the progress I've made there. And there we are. There is my base. So out here, you can see I've been farming lots of dark oak and spruce and oak mainly to make sure I've got a good supply because no one's selling wood yet. I mean, well, I don't think anyone's selling anything. Um, well, let's have a quick look at my base. So yeah, out here, this is all done. This is pretty. Uh, my little decoy house, so hopefully that'll work. And I finished off in here as well. And I've got a bed, let's go to sleep. It, that there's a llama going crazy. Wow, okay. Chill out. And... Oh, I forgot about this guy. He got caught up in my bamboo and he's just kind of there and I figured I'd leave him there because he's actually a pretty good, um, being a, being a pretty good guard for me. So I, I thought I'd leave him there. But yeah, this is my base. I think, I basically, I am now happy with my starter base. I've got little tunnels going off here and there, gathering resources and, and just, just do, have, having little farms everywhere, which is massively helped me get some starting stock to be able to do this and in here we have oh the cats didn't make it did they uh hey you right okay oh yeah in here i have started on my first shop which is going to be a redstone shop so i have got all of these things ready to go and build it and i'm hoping that's going to be enough concrete for what i want but we shall see and in here, I've been gathering up redstone stock, so I've got hoppers and, well, most redstone things. All ready to, to make my shop. Yeah, all ready to make my shop. So, that's what I'm going to do next. I am going to take all this stuff over, pick my spot for my shop, and then I'm going to build my shop, and I'm going to do that in a fast build for you. We'll see you when it's finished.
this is it. It's finished. It's a relatively simple build, but you know, we're, we're still really, really close to the start of the game. So I think I've done pretty well for the start of the game. And I quite like it. Um, I normally don't do the rustic medieval style builds, so this is a little bit out of my comfort zone doing more modern things. But I thought I'd give it a go, and I think it's done quite well. So I have my redstone stock finished. Um, prices are a little bit high at the minute for a lot of things, just because I'm still struggling to get iron and things like that. So, but I, and I, but I will reduce prices again soon. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. It's finished. I will have to let everyone know that it's open. But for now, I'm going to go back and check my to-do list. So yeah, we are back and it's about time for me to end this episode. So let's have a look at our to-do list. What do we do? Get wings? No, no, we did not achieve that. But we're close to being able to find a stronghold there, I think. We're, we're almost there. Help Eep, we definitely did that one. Um, hopefully she will um, give us some mending books in return. Finish starter bait, that is done. Open shop, that's done. Gunpowder farm's done. Get mending books. So I've only got left, get wings and get mending books. That's pretty good, that's not bad as a start. So I am impressed with my progress this episode. I'm going to work on Wings, The End, and Mending Books next episode. Oh, and I need to advertise my new shop to everyone, so I've got to come up with a way to do that. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.